good evening friends so i what i wanted to show here today in this session of ssis is uh, how we can pass a variable from a parent to a child package um, what uh, do i mean by that i mean uh, when uh, when i call a package from within a package by the help of the execute package task uh, it's actually the parent calling a child package for execution so uh, if i wish to pass on certain uh, values uh, how do i do that in an ssis so that's what uh, the complete essence of this demo session is so uh, we'll be looking at a little poc on this uh, so what i am trying to do is get all the online databases present in my server and then based upon a uh, loop across those databases based upon a table which i am looking for uh, let's say i am looking for a table uh, emp or an uh, employee or any other x abc table i will loop across all the databases on my server and then try and find out uh, under all the databases uh, for that table what is the number of counts in each of the databases so what i have done is i have created a table log data in my sample db database of uh, my default instance of uh, my sql server uh, so, uh, i mean default instance of my server so uh, with this uh, in this table you will be finding uh, uh, server name database name table name and the delete count uh, or the number of count of records currently i am doing uh, it's it's is the count of the records existing in these tables uh, that's uh, the logging data uh, table next what i have here is two packages a parent package and a child package and uh, so the variables will come to that what all variables we have declared first of all uh, let's see uh, the connection strings for all the connections in my parent packages uh, referring to i have declared a parent package connection which is uh, this connection is a dynamic one uh, which is it is using the server name and the initial catalog that is the database name from these two variables from these two variables which can be which can be further uh, configured by the help of dts config a file xml file so that it can be changed at the run run time so i that is the motive of uh, creating the connection dynamic i don't want to hard code it i just want uh, the connection to be retrieved from the dts config file so next for each of the task uh, let's uh, go under each of the task and see what all things are getting done i have created us created a sql task to get uh, the result sets of all the online databases on the current server so this will simply get the name of the databases uh, which have the state description online and this uh, online databases will be simply mapped to a get db uh, variable it this variable is of object type that's all this task is doing so this variable as you can see is of object type next we have a for each loop which will loop across all these selected databases uh, which we have in the result sets so this is again collecting the value with the help of e for each adio enumerator uh, form from the get db did uh, get db uh, variable of object type and passing it on to the pass db this is again a variable that i have declared pass db as you can see is of string type so this is actually collecting the database and it will loop across each of them one at a time next we have have is a table uh, is have a, uh, is a sql task which will connect to the parent connection string and execute these sql queries let's uh, deep dive on each of the queries and let's see what it is doing this is a simple query which is actually taking the table name and the database name from the input and then it is uh, giving us an output uh, output which uh, for the table name if it, if the count is found in the table i mean if we are just taking checking in the database current database if the table exists or not 
so if if the table exists will will be getting a count uh, greater than 1 from the sys tables so that's that's the prime motive will be getting a count greater than 0 i mean 1 or 2 whatever so that will if we see at the parameter mapping we are passing two input variables table name and the database name and a flag flag variable is initialized to zero in the case uh, if we get a match i mean a, a match of the table in the current database we will be getting a count updated count of the flag variable which will uh, it will be set to one so that is uh, that is the purpose of a flag after that we have a constraint that we have declared uh, based upon which only the further task will be executed that is the package execute task will be uh, I mean executed so if the flag count is greater than zero in that case only we will move on to the execute package execute child package so if we look at execute child package it is nothing but it is calling the child package from our current solution so that's all now let's move on to the child package what we have in here is nothing but a SQL task uh, SQL task and we have three variables database server and the table name now let's uh, the most important point here is let's just have a look at how are we mapping the variables these all the these three variables uh, value of all these three variables are null I mean we've not defined anything in our child package they will be picked up from the value which is passed by the parent so to do that you go on to your child package right click on pack package configurations and then say if I want to add something I say add and next and I'll say parent uh, package variable so if I want the count or if I want the server name server name parent it should be strictly uh, I mean it is a case sensitive part so it should be strictly uh, as it is defined in the and declared in the parent package variable and we'll say next it will prompt you to associate so if you if you want the value of that parent package a server name to be associated with the value of the table uh, name variable you'll have all the listed variables that you have declared in the child package so you can now go and associate with the value of this so that value from the server name will be associated with the c underscore table name value and you can say next and say finish you will see that the server name is also mapped to the c underscore table that was just a demo i'm deleting it so likewise what we have done here is we have simply created a such association for the past db variable that is the database name along with the cdb so likewise we have created the association for all each of the server name and the table name to the with the parent and the child so that's how we can associate and fetch values uh, from the parent and pa i mean and from the child package next uh, we have a sql task and we also have a connection manager which the sql task is referring let's have a look the connection manager is again a dynamic one we are simply using the server name and the catalog name that is the database name of the one we are getting from the parent package that is from these two variables the server and the db name are the ones we are getting the values so we will be at any time pointing to these only now let's have a look we have we are taking three inputs the server db and the table name in our sql uh, execution of the sql task next let's see what we have in here What we have in here is uh, this uh, declared variable server database and table name. This uh, are coming from the input variables in the parameters, and we are trying to count 
from the table the number of records we have in the table i wanted to put a delete but since i'll be losing data so i've just put an account count star from the table name and since the connection is actually uh, since this complete execution is actually occurring on that database so there is no uh, other problem that will be facing in here the last but not the least we are trying to insert into the sample uh, log data table that we have created in the sample db of my uh, default server so we'll be logging the uh, information of server name database name table name and the row counts of uh, for the table that we are searching so that's pretty simple and this is a, uh, this is a dynamic sql by which we are running we are trying to get the counts so that's about it in in, in this section so we say cancel and we'll try and run this package and see what are the values now before we run it what i would like to do is first i'll just try to truncate and clear my log data table there is there is no records presently so initially i have to pass the table name what i do is i run for my default instance of my server and for process table so it will look on this server for all the databases which are containing the process table that's all this uh, this package will do and then log appropriately the number of counts if at all it finds in my log data table so i am running this package right the package is successful so let's select yeah we found in the sample database we have a table called process and the number of records in that table is something like this so next again let's uh, try and run in the on the same server for a different table say emp we do it for emp right so this again is successful so let's see which all databases have this table we have sample db and the dev database in my default instance uh, of server containing these uh, tables and the counts of the table is 3 now what i do is i change the server name for my next run i have another set of uh, uh, another instance of database called the second instance so i'll be running this time on this instance let's see right so the execution is complete let's see which all table have the emp values so we have found three databases in my second instance containing the emp values and the counts of each of the tables in these databases is as i mean as recorded so that is that was something i really wanted to show how to pass on values it will really helpful to you uh, the important other important point is we have uh, for say we want to pass uh, back the values from a child to a parent there are a lot of posts saying that it can be done uh, by having the variables with the same name in both the instance uh, and i mean in both the packages child and parent but i as per my understanding and research goes it's not possible that way one of the ways which i generally use to pass back the values from child to parent package is uh, to have a, a sql uh, sql server table and uh, update the values in the child package uh, whatever value you want to pass and maybe the parent package can pick up from the uh, can pick up the values from that table uh, where you have recorded the uh, message or the value uh, that is one of the ways of doing things 
so uh, that was uh, about parent child uh, association and how to pass uh, values so in the next demo uh, i mean in the next uh, session we'll be learning uh, how to deploy packages the same package uh, that i have developed now we'll be uh, learning how to deploy them in the sql server in both the ways i mean in the file system and the msdb sys format we'll be trying to understand how they can be deployed and run and uh, at the run time how we can make use of the dts uh, dts config files uh, and change them and run appropriately so thank you friends have a great day